Hey everybody, Dean DaCosta, Search30. Earlier I did a video on an alternative to ChatGPT. Now I'm gonna actually look at ChatGPT. So since it's back up, or at least so far it's up, we'll see. So here's what we're gonna do. Just like I did before, create a Boolean string to, let's see what happened, X-ray into LinkedIn for Java developer. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see, we gotta make a few corrections. No, everything looks good. Let's see what happens here. Bam. And it's thinking a Boolean string for searching for job developers on LinkedIn could be boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's the other one. So, and it's giving me another alternative. None of those are ones I like. So let's try it again. Create a Boolean string to cite search into LinkedIn for Java developer okay so blah, blah, blah. might want to make sure we spell search right all right let's see what that one does there we go so you had to be kind of specific with it. you can't just say create a boolean string to x-ray because it doesn't know what that means evidently uh you have to say site search when you say site search it then knows so First of all, understand these are not AIs. These are machine learning on steroids with some other things in there, but they're not really an AI. Um, at least not yet. I'm sure they'll get to. Um, I've always said, unless you find data from Star Trek or a robot from Lost in Space or C-3PO running around, we don't have an AI yet. Um, but this isn't awful. This actually, if it's done properly, creates a decent boost. string. Now, keep in mind, in the time it took me to type the question, I could have already created the string myself. So this isn't going to help someone like me when it comes to Boolean as much as newer people who are learning or people who just don't know how or people, whatever. Um, but it's pretty cool. Now, the research side of it is pretty good. So let's do this one. List all companies. Oh, let's do this. Let's list. Let's list. All SaaS companies in the U.S. Let's see what it does. It's thinking. Of course, it could be busy. Earlier, I tried to get in, and it was not doing too good. But it's thinking, so that's good. I, I you know, from what I understand, it's getting used a lot, and so that is making it run a little slow, especially for bigger questions like this, which you know, I list all SaaS companies in the U.S. You know, that's pretty tough question let's try a different one then um, list all airlines that won't let me it's stuck on this one and so what I think is going on here and again the problem with the tool is it, it, it's only so many cycles it can only do so much even though okay it would be difficult to provide a conference list of cycles in the US as new companies are considered all time however some examples would be boom 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 so it did it it just took a little time to think about it and, and, and that's fine. It could stop right now for all I, for all I care. Um, and it, but it's going to keep going. Now, what would you do with something like that? Well, what you could do is probably, let's, let's stop. Let's is probably do this. Let's see what happens. Create Boolean, Boolean, create Boolean or string of SAAS companies in Washington State. Okay, now the reason why I'm being very specific is, let's get real, there are a lot of them. So let's see what happens here. Create Boolean or string of SaaS companies in Washington State. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be able to do that because or it may not understand what I mean by or, but it did it. Look at this, SaaS or software and software and boom and company or business. Boolean strings tells the search to look for companies that offer SAS production. You could, oh, okay, so it's, not creating a string of the companies. It's actually creating a string to um, just look for companies in Washington State. So what's got to happen here in order to make it work just the way you want? You're going to have to play with it until you figure out exactly the right wording to do everything you need it to do. But for me, I mean, I'm okay with it because if I really want to, I can just copy this and stick all this into, into my Boolean uh, Excel sheet and it'll do the or, 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 or. Or I can copy more and copy them and just put or between everyone um so we'll 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 see what happens um but that's the way it works that's uh that's uh chat gpt dot excuse me chat dot open dot com slash chat and this is chat gpt my name is dean DeCosta, the search 30 may the source be with you